What are you? Uh, hey, we're here to, I guess, yeah. tell you that CardKingdom.com has everything oh. you need for double masters up for order now. Perfect. Yeah, CardKingdom.com. Yo, what's up? It's Krim, and you know, a brand new format that has been around for a while, uh, you'll know Wheeler from Loading Ready Run and all of them, they kind of in, like, kind of like pretty much made this format happen or they're kind of like with the originating point, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so this is a format called Gladiator, which is 100 card singleton, no commander. And I think the biggest appeal to this format to me so far from what I've played is that I love that there are no commanders because in commander, you can kind of regulate out the powerful commanders through rule zero, all these other things. And uh, it just feels like this is a more competitive vibe, but like still casually fun kind of like singleton format because singleton formats have always been a blast. So uh, you're, you're just all like there's no restrictions. You don't have to build to a commander's colors. It's just whatever you want, throw it in there. It's 100 cards minimum. So you can go over 100 if you want to. So naturally, the first thing we had to do was, of course, try Grixis. Now, Grixis is always viable in every format, and if it's not viable in the format, the format is probably in question anyway. So, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. We're playing cards like Sublime, uh, Sahili Sublime Artificer, which is actually one of the probably the best pieces you can get in a singleton format because every time we cast a non creature spell or anything like that in this deck, we net a 1 1. So when we play Planeswalkers, that gives us bodies. When we cast Removal, whatever, gives us bodies. Now, um, obviously, at the state of this current format when we're, we're playing it maybe it's not as sweaty so people aren't just doing tainted pack left and right uh so you get a little bit of everything vampires dragons control-ish kind of like mid-rangey good stuff decks all over the place and i think it's just an absolute blast uh you'll get a lot of cool interactions and most importantly some things to note are that some of the arena like modified cards from alchemy like meat hook massacre all of those are gone Hallbreaker horror is back to normal like the printed version so you don't have to deal with any of the modified updates that came through in alchemy so uh and the ban list is pretty small so all around just a grixis good stuff deck we're playing here today uh we're gonna see how it does on the random ladder all right, I'll keep this. So let's see if we can uh, get something saucy here. It's best of three, right? So luckily, the the game, you don't really get to sideboard. We do get a mitigate variant. So if I don't draw any lands, I'm just, I'm just not that good at magic. Oh, I'm just not that good at magic. Dang it. Some people just want it more. I, I, okay, if I will it into existence, please let me draw a land. Please let me draw. What does that do? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. They're playing one and two drops. I'm dead. Pick up my cards. Children's card games equal easily one of the hardest games to play because you may not draw a resource. Please. Oh, merciful deck. Okay, hold on. What does this do? Is vigilance. What does that do? Whenever an enchantment enters the battle on your target creature, that's an artifact. Okay. I'm I guess. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card, hopefully. Do I draw a magic the gathering card? That's a land. MDFC, thank you. Thank you, MDFC. I'll take it. Sign me up, Daddy O. I'm on the I'm on the board. We do play, I believe, 38 lands uh, after having all our MDFCs. So I'm real happy about this. Battle can put a one counter trigger your control on mount. I'll just counter that because I don't know when else I'm going to be able to. Should I steal that? I think I'm going to steal that and see if I hit a land. Oh, I'm so good at magic. I probably should have like, oh. Yeah, I think I want that. That that seems good. And then we go ahead and cast this Thought Seize thing. Maybe I get a draw card off it if the client doesn't explode. Oh my god, I'm so good at magic. So we know they have only creatures and lands. Seraph's Angel. Okay, so we're going to play good old... Uh, can everyone say this with me? Please, Trader of Get, Midrange All-Star. It's all one word. My favorite card. We're, we're, we're gaming. We're currently gaming. Oh, even drew a red source. There it is. Thank you, Crypt of the Eternals. You've gained me one life. It's not Kalit me, it's Kalit us. That was a pun for those watching right now. Do you want me to explain the joke? Because it's pretty funny and it's kind of hard to understand. I pride myself in some of the smartest humor in Magic the Gathering. Not many people understand that humor, so... Look, if you if you want me to explain it for you, I got you. What was that? In the back? Please explain it. Mr. Content, make content. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage. I mean, I'm not a fan of that, but sure. Oh, my baby. Should I check to see what's in their hand? No, do, do not, do not. 
I was a little bit worried it was going to try to plague Giant Killer for one. I was going to have to report the entire client. What are the odds they have an Igonjo? I don't even want to chance it. I don't want to even want to chance it. Enters the battlefield, creatures will get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Maybe they don't have Igonjo. I'm starting to think maybe they don't have Igonjo. I'm, I'm, I, I just report me. I'm playing scared. I don't even know why I'm playing scared. I'm, I'm memeing. I'm clearly memeing. All right, so I got this funny idea. All right, it's kind of a banger of an idea. I draw a land, but off your deck. Game, why do you continue to choose? Good lord, the wrong mana. Okay, whatever. Whatever, I, I wanted to leave up Make Difference or Make Disappear and not Baleful Mastery. That's actually cheating. I can't deal with that. Auto Tapper. <laughs> it's okay. Let me know. I know. I deserve it. I trusted Auto Tapper. It's a me thing, not a you thing. Yeah, I know. I'm not tapping out though because I believe in what I'm doing here. I swear Auto Tapper on the hairs of my scrotes. If you do not do what I tell you to do and you tap the wrong land, I'm reporting you. My uncle knows Johnny Wizards, and I am going to report you. <laughs> Menace, you got it. Get in there, Menace. No way. What is this? You got swift response or something? I, I just don't know anymore. I'm dealing five. Okay, your turn. Johnny Coast. Close cousin. Actually, very close cousin to Johnny Quest. That's only plus two. All right, that's dope. What's the punish if I let them attack? We're going to find out this week. Oh, attack with the one, two. Attack with the one, two. Make me regret logging in. Flex it on me. Oh, other knights you control do things. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I probably, uh... Oh, whoops. Wrong replacement effect. I'll take it. I forgot. Brittle Blast has another text. It perpetually gains Sag. So, uh, yeah, I won't get to do what I wanted to do there. That's a, that's a big bad. That's a big sad. I need Lance or not at all ever. It's cool. I didn't want it. Sick. Perpetual Blast then makes it so any removal exiles it. So they get to choose essentially which replacement effect overrides. So it overrides Kalidus. Pop off, pop off. Now you may laugh about all this, but there's a strong chance the Circle of Loyalty drops. Maybe Gladiator was the format that it needed. You laugh, but there's a strong chance Gladiator is the format that we all needed. Perfect. Lightning Bolt. God, that feels so good to cast. Oh God, that feels so good to cast. All right, we got there? To answer any questions you might have, like, can there be a gladiator without Russell Crowe? The answer is yes. God, yes, please. Like we could have easily shocked that. We could have played with fire, but you know, I don't get to often cast Lightning Bolt on Arena. So that was just, oh, we keep this, right? Watchers, viewers, we have Bolt for Bird. We're ready to Bolt the Bird. We have Mind Spike. I think this is it. Two lands, six drop. Story of my, like, honestly, my novel. Oh, Thor, thank you. My dog has decided to knock all three of the bowls over. <laughs> it's really cute, though. <laughs> Play it. Drop anything on the board. I just want to bolt it. That's all. I'm not even asking for a lot. I think I'm being pretty reasonable. Okay, I'm not going to bolt that. I'm not going to bolt that one. How about that? <laughs> I won't bolt that one. Oh my god, I drew another card. Dude, Mind Spike is popping off right now. It's like if Thalia was not relevant. <laughs> that plus one tax from Thalia is like big sad though. I'm a gamer, ma. I was born to game. Sahili feels absurd at this deck and against our opponent. Oh, that's an esports ready card. Okay, let's see what happens. Find out if I draw a land. I drew a tap land. I hate tap lands. Oh my god. Feed the swarm. Don't mind if I do. Oh god, the efficiency of bolting. Oh, it's just a one mana answer early aggression. Maybe it can't be on arena. Maybe it's too strong for arena. I should have waited till they attack. That's my fault. Report me for throwing. I'm feeding. I'm feeding. Oh wait, no, it has first strike. It doesn't matter. A shock may have done the same there. Many be are wondering, but does a shock feel as good as a bolt? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hopefully nobody sent that uh that ticket into riot yet, you know, because I know I'm getting pretty spiky over here. Oh, sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Make disappear plus Sahili's little token. Oh, that feels so good. That's so disgusting. Give me. Give me. I want a creature. Wait, no, I don't want a creature. <laughs> I just, 
I want that. All right, no attacks pass. Oh, dude, Tasha's so good. Tasha's so good on arena. Look how good Tasha is. What are you gonna do, attack pass this? Okay, sure, whatever. Yet, yeah, wait, It's only it only protects Tasha or yourself. Did I say Tasha was really good? I lied. That's not what I thought it did. Okay, oops. My bad. They know what Tasha does. They know too much. That's the problem. I don't I don't like that. I'm just going to get rid of it. I feel like there's no reason to let you have that. So I'm going to pass. Jousting dummy. Please attack me. Attack me. I love Tasha's laughter. She has a really cute laugh and I think it has a bad rep from from the recent D&D set. Oh, please attack me. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. Bingo. <laughs> I don't ask for a lot. I think I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty easy going guy. I'm a pretty easy going guy. I'm a pretty easy going guy. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. We're about to pop off this turn if I draw a land. Good Lord. It's me, your boy Dobby. Let's draw some Magic the Gathering cards from Premier Card Game. Magic the Gathering. Ages 13 plus, by the way. You're the opponent. I actually don't remember what the alt does. I'm a very good night deck. I'm kind of like the best night deck in the house. I don't know if you see this here. I'm gonna give myself a 3-3. Why would I give you one? Oh my God. Where's the circle of loyalty? Okay. All right. Okay. My opponent kept a hand of seven cards. Well, joke's on you. I'm going to remove all the useless stuff. And look, I'm gonna lose my game the way I was meant to lose it with bolus in hand and a lot of tears. What does your deck do? Trying to target creature card, that's like kind of good. Yeah, I, I guess I don't want you to do that ever. Not bad, right? I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. I just got to play bolus and I win the game. This is the easiest game of my life. Although I need triple black mana. So at some point, if I'm gonna, if I draw the dragon god, Perfect. I don't know why I threw that away, but I guess I made them spend their turn. So that's kind of good, actually. Oh, they're going to just do a lot of loop-de-loops, aren't they? Uh, I'm going to play the Storm Carved Coast. Make them think I've actually got counter magic when all I've got is all of you and the power of anime and stuff. Unreal. I don't know what this is. This is a fake card. Oregon Hoarder enters the battlefield. Look at the top three cards of your library. Then put that one in your hand, the rest in your graveyard. That's awkward. That's a 3-2. So you're saying it doesn't die to what I want it to do. Wait. Oh, crap, dude. Oh, my God. What if, though? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not going to play anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. I'm going to counterspell this. And then I'm going to minus Tasha. You're picking up what I'm putting down here? You're picking up what I'm putting down? That's the play. If they don't play the Drana, this play is going to be very bad. I don't know what that does. Is this a real card? No, this isn't good. This is like, like pretty bad, actually. Okay. All right, I guess I take some damage. Oh, right. They don't have double black mana. Punished by not having the correct mana. I'm online. Peepo happy. We definitely didn't know that before that turn where we didn't do anything in past. What is that? Why wouldn't you want that? Hold on, that's an amazing card. Why wouldn't you want that? Oh God, your hand must be really good. If opponent doesn't want that card, that tells me something's about to be very, very big sad. I don't know what that does. Target player's library, who are you choosing? Me, you, that makes sense. It's actually kind of good. So they're keeping on top, so that's a second black source. That's what that's telling me. Uh, I'm going to plus, and then we hang out with Bolus, and then I wait because I need to get rid of uh, their Drana. Their Drana is kind of annoying. Dude, this Tasha is... Uh, what does that do? Okay, the pun is just playing cards I've never even seen in my life. Uh, do Battlefield mill three, put a one counter for each creature milled in the graveyard that way? They milled <laughs> just mostly non-creatures. That kind of sucks. We're about to get reanimated. I love it. Okay. You may play a land card or a card from among cards in your graveyard that were put there from your library this turn. Do I want that? Is that even good? Or do I flip Bolus and then just start pinging things down? Three, one, two. Yeah, I think I just do this. I think we just do this and hold and then pass. Yes. 
Draw your two, friend. I'm not concerned. I like what the opponent's trying to do. They're trying to play a Saltai Reanimator deck, so I like it. A lot of self-mill here. A very respectable game plan right now, so I'm digging this. They're getting extra thick. Look at that. Dude, oh my god, this Tasha is sick. Like, this Tasha is actually just cracked. This Tasha is cracked. Unbelievable. It's so good. Like, we just keep doing this, right? Like, they, they cannot attack me. Like, if they attack me, it's going to be so bad for them. And I guess I hold up my mana. Uh, let's hold up Counterspell. You never know. The opponent might have something. I'm just going to actually plus here. And then I'm going to pass. I'm going to make some mana and pass. Chandra gives them a target they can attack, though. You're right. But I remember that before I did that play. So that's why I... Uh, oh, God. Hush. Hush, everyone. Everyone watching before, you're like, hold on, but Krim. For those that don't know, because Tasha is different on Arena. Until your next turn, whenever a creature attacks you or Tasha, Unholy Archmage, put a minus one, minus one counter on that creature. So it doesn't stop you from attacking other Planeswalkers. It's only when it hits you or Tasha. Maybe opponent doesn't know, and they try to swing again. I'm here for this. I'm very much so here for this. I think this is, I don't know if this is helping them or helping me. They just got a full yard. They definitely want all those cards to die. I mean, we're, yeah, you, you can count on that. That's going to happen for sure. Let's go to combat. Here's the game plan. I'm going to swing. You going to do something weird? No. All right. So I'm going to add red mana. Then I'm going to flip bolus. Assuming that the, the auto tapper here doesn't lose me the game on the spot, I should be okay. They have no black mana open. So I can bring back Jason Derulo. So let's go grab Jason Derulo. Let's draw some magical cards. I don't think I'm going to mill them. I'm a little bit worried if I keep milling them, something bad's going to happen. So Jason Derulo down. Banger. I also just realized, again, they can attack Bolus. Okay. Sure, that's fine. They didn't attack Bolus, thankfully. Can I get some uh, lightning bolts in the chat? Lightning bolts in the chat? In the chat, in the comments? Same thing. <laughs> Bolts up. Jason Derulo. Perfect. Play the land. Okay, let's mill you a little bit. I'm curious what your deck does. I, I, it, It's a reanimator deck, so probably milling the reanimator deck isn't a good idea, but we also don't play this game to be scared, so business as usual. Oh, you have devious cover-up, so you do play counter magic. Okay, that's really bad news for me. Uh, yes, we make sure we have four and five. Use that, the double red there. Tap that down. Uh, colorless, doesn't matter. Of course, they are more than welcome to use Blood Fountain. All right, we, we got, got all of that out of here. I've used all my Planeswalkers. Next turn, I Emblem Chandra. I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know any one spell that auto answers everything, except for like Swamp, Elder Spell, and Counterspell Backup. This dude just mills some more, right? Okay. Because, like, I have a counter spell. <laughs> Look at this hand, by the way. I have an Elder Spell and, and Lightning Bolt. How sick is that? Everybody, say goodbye to uh, old Rutstein, Reclusive Taxidermist, which I'm pretty sure I just found out existed today, right now in this moment. And when I say we're going to say goodbye to them, I mean we're going to say goodbye to them. I'm not losing the Chandra yet, so let's get them all out of here. Then I believe this allows me the... Oh, no, they, they have some non... I might actually be running out of cards soon, right? Oh, nope. Oh, I'm so good at magic. There it is. I did the thing. I'll pass. I've activated all my Planeswalkers. Next turn, I ultimate Chandra, and that should about lock it up. 100 cards, singleton, baby. Even if they thought distortion me next turn, I'm not even like too worried because I can bolt them in the face and then counterspell it and then memory lapse counterspell back on top of my deck. I don't even know why I did this. I gotta just remove that. Like I, I, I could have just removed that. I don't I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I'm gonna mill their their reanimation spell so <laughs> sure I present to you the bolt best magic card ever Mill your nonsense over there. All right, and then we get the emblem. 
I am legitimately pretty sure I haven't seen like 99.9% of my opponent's deck. So I actually have to read. I have to read all their cards. I, I do not know them, so I apologize. We, we're all learning them together. Gladiator so far, though, has been super fun. I am thoroughly loving this format. I don't know if it changes if there's like ranked. Obviously, everything changes once there's ranked. But as of right now, this is... I, I think it solves the issue that I have with, with Historic Brawl in that I don't have to worry about playing Asika every other match. And then every match in between that is like some other like Kiora Simic nonsense. This is this is a pretty fun format so far because it would be different if it were commander and, you know, we had all the powerful cards in commander because then you kind of like balance out the commander cards. But yeah, like because you can't, I think historic brawl just gets a little overrun with like shenanigans. Also, nobody's ever ready for the world tree out of the Grixis deck. I think that, yeah, like, if this goes to rank, this probably becomes a lot more of a two-deck format. Thoracle plan, and then what beats that? This is real. This is a real card. I've seen this in the Boulder's Gate draft. I swear. All right, I'm gonna play Kaido. This is uh, Xander's other lounge. Xander's backup lounge when the, uh, his current lounge is renovated. Grick's best triome in the game. Best triome in the game. Oh, yeah? Check this out. Clients lagging, that's not my computer. I swear I don't play on a toaster. Or maybe I do, I won't tell you. Uh, search for Azkanta. It's Azkanta, not as not -ta. So yeah, we sure can loot. <laughs> Xander's Treehouse, AKA the World Tree. Make it a thing, everybody. Make it a thing if you're watching this, however you're watching it. Make it a thing, Xander's Treehouse. Best Magic the Gathering card in the game. It is actually as can't, uh, because I as can't throw that card away. I love it too much. All right, I'm one land away. I'm one land away, though. Does a 1-1 one, one unblockable just get there? Does a 1-1 one, one, one unblockable just get there? Please let it just be a 1-1 one, one unblockable that gets there. <laughs> we got him on a clock. 18 turns. 18 turns. They're, they're afraid. Old Snickers? Snicker fingers? What is this? So if I just... Hold on. If I put this on top of its deck, it mills itself. <laughs> All right, that, that slaps, that super slaps. I'm into it, I'm into it, okay? In case I lose my bolus, you know, you never know. Happens to the best of us. Client, stop lagging, you scare me. Surely there's nothing wrong with me just tapping out, leaving up one mana, hoping that the anime gods reward me. That was old Snickerfingers, uh, it's a thing, it can happen, you know? Like one of my favorite interactions, um, for those that haven't seen me do it back when Chandra Torch of Defiance was in standard or not, uh, when it was, I played against it in historic once or something, somebody plus, uh, Torch of Defiance, I tucked it on top of their deck with Ether Gust or they tucked it on top. They forgot how that worked. And that was great. I think I'm about to lose my board state, but we're going to find out. Oh, you get a land when it dies. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked that. That's not good. Sometimes Valky's just got to steal. An old growth troll, and sometimes old snicker fingers is just gotta mill himself out. All right. No one plays around the Jawai disruption. That's the biggest esports move in all of Magic the Gathering. Client's gonna explode. Give me a minute. Client's actually very close to exploding. Magic the Gathering is about to happen. Uh, yeah, that seems good. GG's! The old no lander, but I can bolt. I almost wanna keep that just solely on bolt alone. Um,. That allows me to play a lot of Magic the Gathering cards. I like that. Okay, we keep this. This is a this this is kind of a banger of a hand. Hold on, I love this. This is a good hand. I'm gonna play the weird uh, Spire Bluff Canal. Search for his Kanta. That's really good against me right now. I think I'm up against a Baral player. Take the land, I guess. We wait until they get to about six lands. We drop the bog. Eugene. Well, okay. So we're definitely uh, up against a control deck, right? Oh, it's a flash deck? This is the worst. <laughs> Let's play around Smell Pierce. Hello? Sublime Epiphany. They really want their lands, don't they? And I think I've stolen all- I've stolen all of them, yes! Oh, Siphon Insight, too good. Good at magic.gov. Again, if you're watching this, uh, just let me know your uh, uh, Venmo. 
Paid actors. Sneep? Oh, actually, I have like a double black card and another double black card, but you know, whatever. We'll worry about that when we get to it, which we won't, because I'm going to curve out with Planeswalkers right now, and it's going to be so sick. I think I don't care about any two drop that they play. Oh, unless it's channel into like Ulamog. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was a little bit scared that it was going to be channel into Ulamog. I, I definitely held my breath. I'm not going to lie to you. I held my breath there. I was sweating. I got a little bit sweaty there. We're not, we're not in the woods yet. It could still happen. No way. Oh, look, I'm not going to say it. I'm not saying anything. Just, just we're going to the next. We're just going to take my turn. Just gonna make some mana and pass. Just not gonna say anything. We, uh, pass? I... What does this do? Enters the... Yo, did you just do something? I don't, I don't know what you did. Let's get another black sword. So, 4-6. We only have 6 mana at our disposal, so... Let's not accidentally exile our, our, our swamp. We only play one swamp. We're gonna smart gamer this moment. What, is, what does that do? Lucamina, Moon Druid enters the battlefield if you cast it, seek a land card with a basic land type. Uh, other creature- wait, when does it flip? Oh, it specializes. Okay, uh, no, we're not- we're not doing that. We're not doing that. That's usually a bad time and a half, so I'm gonna- that doesn't make mana, right? Like, it doesn't, like, surprise me out of nowhere, like, gotcha, son. There's nothing that this card does that scares me, right? On the backside? Gets and has trample. Oh yeah, that was sick. Gladiator's kind of wild here. I'm beating up mono green. I'm happy. I'm always happy if I'm beating up mono green. I do. Again, they used to call me the Scarab God in middle school for a reason. So, okay, I I don't think I cut your deck because how did you get Basilisk Caller again? I clearly did not cut your deck. Um, that's a. What does that do? Do I kill that thing? I feel like if I don't kill that thing, I'm gonna regret it, right? Yeah, like if I don't if I don't kill that thing, I think I'm gonna regret it. Cause usually something bad happens. I get pants. I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to get pants in a, like a video or a clip. I'm not trying to end up on on MTG top five right now, getting blown out. So, oh god, I wish I. Oh wait, no, I have. I have the greatest little scoozy scoot swarm answer in the history of Magic. Unless you channel here, I genuinely am like afraid of them just channeling and then dropping a big meatball like Ulamog because I cannot beat that card. Okay. I think I actually want to see if I can hit uh, a card here. I just want to hit anything here. Let me get an untap land one time. Children's card games, please. All right. Um, odd, 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 odd. Eve. That. So I think I want to kill the even card because if I kill the even card, I can just like hopefully remove the rest. Right. I can't deal with it once like it grows too big. I don't even. Okay. You playing weird cards again? What is this? I think I'm gonna counter that. Because I don't know what you do. So I, and I just don't want to find out. Because it's mono green. Oh no, Mamma Mia. Oh my god, let me draw an untapped land right now. And we are going to value town. Oh my god, we're going to get so much value. You don't even know what's going on right now. Oh my god, please. Let me just go to value town. One time, untapped land. Oh my god. Children's card games, please. Children's card games, please. Thank you. I have prayed to the god of children's card games. And I have been rewarded. Today, we feast. Today we feast. And that, now that, that's what I call music. Volume 69, 420. I love that. I love that for us. And Meatball Massacre is Meatball Massacre, not the weird alchemy version. So that's awesome. They don't even know what's about to happen here. They're going to be caught off guard so hard. Death Touch Lifelink. I think we play the Scabby G's here. I don't think it gets better than that, right? Scabby G's try to block, make them eat their own graveyard, which is hilarious. Unless you, like, have an Ulamog or something like that. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry if you have an Ulamog. Don't have an Ulamog. I don't know how you'd have it, but please. Oh my god, no, it's easy mode. Easy mode, no. Easy mode, please. No. Not, not easy mode. <laughs> easy mode, no. That is death touch. I think I block because I just get it back, right? It's fine, whatever. Like, there's no reason to waste my resources on it. Gains me a life, gets them... I mean, I played again. Like, we just keep jamming, right? 
That's the best part about Scarab God. He's like that, like the guest that shows up to your party on un, like uninvited every time and he just keeps coming back. You're doing weird stuff again, aren't you? What, what does that do? Okay. Tapped creatures you control have death touch. Great news. You can, you can have that. That's fine. Children's card games, please. All right. I just go even. And then if they animate the land, I block it. Yeah, even if you don't invite him, like he just somehow finds your party. He just shows up all the time. He's like, dude, how'd you even find my address? And he just keeps going and he, he blows up your toilet, eats your fridge, eats your fridge entirely. I love it. That's what we're talking about. There it is. Drew a land, did the thing. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna hold up Make Disappear, and I'm gonna just eat like a Scoot Swarm. I guess I should have eaten Scoot Swarm first, played the land, I would get another 1-1. One, one, which would have given me another Scoot Swarm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna just counter that. I don't I don't know what that does, but I'm, I'm gonna counter it. It looks like it has it has ward, it has more text than that thing. For each other non-token human you can- Oh wait, I can like get a massive, like a thick one, right? Like, super thick. 4-4 four, four Scoot, that's what we wanted. God, yes, I want a lightning bolt. Are you kidding me? I always want a lightning bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that away. I think I want Kalidus here. We swing it with a little scoot. Let's see if I get punished. I'm gonna just try to play to get a, a natural gr I mean, look, <laughs> we came to look at the efficient play is get a land, get another scoot. The crim play is we're gonna get unnatural growth. The crim play is we're getting unnatural growth. I'm sorry. Okay. That might be a problem. <laughs> Teferi's cooler. Uh, simple as that for those that are wondering why I pitched Soren. Teferi's way cooler. Not hexproof. Okay. Draw again. Do I take the world? Yeah, we take the world tree. We take the world tree. <laughs> I want the world tree. Throw that away, don't need that. Let's go ahead and get, let me show you this cool thing where I get a Scoot Swarm. <laughs> oh my god, it's 4-4 four, four Scoot Swarms. I didn't even think about that. That's so sick. I didn't even think about that. Shatter an artifact, shock. Okay. Blow that up, deal two to that thing. Yeah, sure, you got it. I can't play Kalidus and, and do all of that. I'd get more zombies that way, but I, I think I'm so far ahead right now that I'm, I'm okay with just chilling for a little bit. Now let's go ahead and get in there and get some DiMaggio. They can block this. I highly recommend it even. We're like in Christmas land right now. The only thing I cannot beat is like a found Ulamog. So, and they're close. Pretty soon I can just use uh, the Scabby G's and play all their stuff. And that's the goal. I also realized I can just discard Kalidus and eat Kalidus. Why didn't I not do that? Oh, well, whatever. Sure, that's pretty good. Uh, we keep going. There's so many sweet interactions happening right now that I don't think you understand how cool this is. I think I pitched the land. I don't know, maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's wrong. Do you have like some massive fight spell or something like that? I don't even know what that does. I just want it. Land is two scoot swarms, I know, but I have so many. I don't even need Lance. I got an Eagle Bolas. I got an Eagle Bolas. All right. I got an Eagle Bolas. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I've ascended. Oh, oh my God. Too much value. Mulligan, unfortunately, this is going to have to be a ship. We just speed ran that last dungeon. So we're popping off. Okay. Blue, red. What is this? Wait, is this a new board? Four color? Why is your deck four colors? Sure. Do I want to stumble on a land? Oh no. Oh no. Well, actually, sure, that's fine. Perfectly playing around a Jawari's Disruption in the current year? Who even is ready for a Jawari's Disruption? How are they even ready for it? How did they even know? They were so ready. It was it was a creature on the stack, by the way, uh, if you're wondering. I could not negate that, if you were wondering. Sure. Yes, I die a lot faster. I die pretty fast. So I'm hoping, like what's the best thing their five color deck could do? I feel like there's a lot here. Tamio, Tamio. 
I think I'll negate this. So they didn't have counter magic backup. That feels kind of good. Kavu, more like Kav Poo. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that uh, immediately. All right. Now we windmill slam uh, the queen, the Dreadhorde general. Keep him at a casual 20. Feels good. Tapped out. I don't know if I get punished for this, so we're going to find out. But they have no basics. Too good. Three good. You'll love to see it. Played around Jawari Disruption. Get out of here. Played around my Jawari Disruption like a pro. Are you joking me? I'm keeping this. This hand kind of slaps. I just need to draw red sources, right? And then we get we get a sick curve here. Yeah, yeah they, there's also a strong chance they just drew it way later. But whatever. It doesn't matter. I just find it funny anyways. It's like, oh, so perfect. So perfect. So sad. Client, don't explode. Please don't explode, client. Please don't explode. I, I think I'd rather take the, the knight, right? The knight is actually, like, more useful. Cards and gravers can't enter the battlefield. That's fine. Like, whatever. I won. I won. Easy. I'm sold. I hope this format is a mainstay on Arena. Uh, I, I think if you've come by and watched me stream it, it's a lot of fun. Um, the interactions and things that can happen in this format are way wilder, yet it's like more powerful. Uh, and of course, it's just a fun way to play one-on-one -on -one because singleton formats are always a blast, right? Whether it's through Hearthstone, oh, he said the H word, or, you know, whatever other game. So this was a, a really fun deck to play, and I think this is actually a super solid build. Um, Grixis good stuff is able to just kind of get there on its own, and you are you don't have to deal with any of the buffs. Like, Unholy Heat does what Unholy Heat does in paper. Um, Tasha isn't what Tasha is on paper, but you don't have to, like, deal with any annoying buffs through Alchemy. So it is really fun. So take it for a spin, check it out, and... I don't know, you get to play with Strixhaven Mystical Archives for the most part. So Lightning Bolt, Counterspell, all of that channel, it's all there. So have fun and check out the format. I really like it and I hope it stays on Arena.